All right, keyboardists, this is episode two for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Uh, thank you for tuning in about the, uh, the keyboard and everything and we're running the software and everything. I uh, appreciate it. But uh, you guys have one other thing to be taking care of during our worship sets, and that's the on-stage lights. Everything else is controlled back at the tech booth, um, but the lights that are behind the whole worship team, those are all controlled uh, from the little fader that you have set up on top of the keyboard. So I'm going to go over quickly uh, just how to set that all up. Most of the time, I take care of it in the morning. Uh, but if you see that's not set up, you can go ahead and take care of it uh, just so you can get some practice so you know how to do it for times that I'm not here. So uh, I'll give you the quick rundown. So I figured I'd do it uh, in context of walking up on the stage. You can kind of know where we're at. So we're stage left over here, right side, if you're looking from the congregation perspective. So you're going to come back here. And the first thing you need to do is plug in this wire right here to that outlet. That wire, if you look over there, this is called a dimmer pack. That's what all of these lights are plugged into. So the lights can receive what's called a DMX signal. It's an electronic signal to tell them to, to fade up or fade down. Um, they don't have special wiring. They're just regular outlet lights. So they're plugged into uh, a power pack that then is able to receive DMX signal. So plug it in. It's this guy right here. Plug it into there. You're going to come over to the dimmer pack. On the left side, you'll see a power switch down here. Click that on, it'll go to A0001. Make sure it's on there. Um, if it isn't, <laughs> then maybe just give me a call wherever I'm at. Um, but it, make sure it's at A0001. As long as nobody touches this, it shouldn't get off of that. If it does, it's probably just, uh, okay, prime example is it's probably just that the knob got hit. So just kind of press one of the up or down arrows until you get back to A001. Uh, if the mode is switched, and it's saying like P13 or 50003, just press the mode switch until you see the A00 format. Uh, and then you can scroll up or down with the directional arrows to get back to uh, A001. Okay, so plug it in, turn it on, make sure it's on A001, because then it'll make sure that it's on the right, right channel. Next thing is, is turn on this power strip. This is the power strip that is, um, powering both an avion send back here as well as uh, um, as the power cord that leads up to this controller right here as soon as you turn it on you should notice that the light comes on now all you need to do is press the light for macro right so macro is the uh, is the channel we need to be going into and then finally all you're going to do is these knobs shouldn't ever be touched uh they're they're set to what they need to be and i've gaff taped them so that you can't move them too much but um make sure those are those are in respective you know chase macro needs to be all the way up this is at about 85 percent uh this is just how fast the lights dim up and down and so now the cool part is you don't even need to worry about how fast you do this if you do it like that they'll just kind of fade up now I'll bring it down. They fade down nice and gentle. Do it back here. Fade up nice and gentle. Fade down. So that's once again something we can do. Um, most of the time we'll have them running already. But for things like, you know, if we're doing kind of a, a delayed start on a service, it can be kind of a cool, you know, more cinematic start to our service and everything is uh, fading up the pads, right? And then fading up the lights. Boom. Right before we, we click into a song. So... Uh, that's all you really need to know. Once again, make sure that big fat wire right there is plugged into that outlet. Make sure the DMX pack left corner has a power switch on it. Make sure the screen says A001. That'll make sure you're on the right mode. Turn on the power strip. Make sure this outlet right here, the plain black one, is plugged in. That's the one that leads back around to the back of the DMX controller. And then other than that, make sure to press macro. Fade it up and you're ready to go. Something that might happen sometimes is if the uh, if you plug it in, you're noticing, oh man, nothing's coming on. The off switch might be on there, so just make sure to check for that as well. Flip it on. It always goes back to the preset for some reason. So click macro, fade it up, boom, you're all set. One more note about the lighting system back here uh, is obviously with what, everything you're doing for set up on the, on the lighting controller, make sure to do the opposite for teardown. So go ahead and turn off the DMX pack 
unplug the fat cable from uh, from the wall, and then turn off the the, the power strip, unplug the uh, the DMX controller power plug from the power strip. Uh, I just go extra to make sure we don't have any electrical fires or anything like that. So uh, I probably don't need to go that far. The power strip is already rated to keep us safe from that stuff and to cut it off. But I just I just go the extra bit just to make sure nothing bad happens. So just make sure to do the opposite when you're tearing down the lighting. All right, much quicker than the last video. <laughs> Thank you guys for your patience. Uh, just watching these, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions uh, or if you need another explanation of how to do it during practice or on Sunday morning, don't be afraid to ask me. But thank you guys so much for serving and for being willing to uh, take on new roles here in the worship team. Thank you guys.